we know from collision theory that there are various physical factors that can affect the rate of a reaction. We can demonstrate this with the reaction between zinc and hydrochloric acid by making a number of changes and observing the rate at which that reaction proceeds. So the first thing that we do is because we know that hydrogen gas is produced, we add some detergent that will form bubbles or foam as the reaction proceeds and obviously form more foam if more hydrogen gas is produced. In our first test tube, we have zinc granules, um, also known as zinc chunks, with one molar hydrochloric acid. The second test tube, zinc granules with four molar hydrochloric acid. The third test tube, zinc granules with one molar hydrochloric acid with a copper catalyst. The fourth test tube, zinc powder with a one molar hydrochloric acid solution. And the fifth test tube, zinc granules and one molar hydrochloric acid, but placed in a hot water bath um, to speed up the rate of reaction there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add the hydrochloric acid to each of these test tubes and observe the rate of each of these reactions and how they proceed. Now, what we would expect to see is that our first reaction here, zinc granules with one molar hydrochloric acid, we expect this to be our control reaction. As you can see, there are granules in all but one of the reactions and there's one molar hydrochloric acid in all but one of these reactions. So this should be our control and we can monitor how much foam is formed in this reaction. What we then have in our second test tube, this one over here, is we have a four molar solution of hydrochloric acid. Once again, by collision theory, because there are now more hydrochloric acid molecules present, we would expect more collisions and therefore more successful collisions to occur and a faster rate of reaction. And we can start to see that happening here with far more foam forming in the second test tube than in our first test tube. In our third test tube, we have zinc granules and one molar hydrochloric acid the one difference here being that we now have copper that acts as a catalyst. We know that a catalyst provides an alternate path for the reaction to proceed by, and so we would expect this reaction to happen faster than our reaction in test tube number one, and we can see that that is indeed the case. We can see that more foam is formed, meaning that more hydrogen gas is being formed in that test tube. The fourth fourth test tube is a more complicated one. This is now zinc powder. So instead of using zinc granules or zinc chunks, we have now ground it into a powder, which means that we have increased the surface area of the zinc. So by collision theory, that tells us that the reaction should proceed at a faster rate because there, is more, there are more opportunities for collisions and therefore more successful collisions. Although what we often find experimentally in this reaction is that the zinc oxidizes, which means that the zinc does not react as readily with a hydrochloric acid. So this is one where theoretically and experimentally we might find different results. And the final reaction that we have here is once again zinc granules and one molar hydrochloric acid. The big difference here being that it's occurring at a much higher temperature, would explain, which explains to us why that reaction would proceed far faster, because we know that as you increase the temperature, you increase the number of molecules that have the required energy in order to form a successful collision and thereby we would increase the rate of the reaction. So here we have a good layout of an experiment that allows us to compare the rates and the rate changes by different factors because we have used a constant in each experiment. We have either kept the surface area constant by using granules or we have kept the concentration constant and only made one change to each test tube. This allows us to easily tell the difference between why this reaction is slower than this one because the only change is a concentration change. And we can compare this reaction to so this reaction to this reaction because the only difference here is a catalyst. In the same way, that is why it's so important to have a controlled test tube which allows you to make individual changes for comparison's sake.